नमस्कार आई एम राहुल श्रीवास्तव अ वीक इन इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स एट टाइम्स कैन बी लॉन्गर देन इवन टेन इयर्स मोर बिकॉज ऑफ चेंजेस दैट टेक प्लेस इन परसेप्शन एंड नैरेटिव इन ए वीक्स टाइम ऑन मंडे अ क्रेडिबल वीकली मैगजीन फीचर राहुल गांधी ऑन इट्स फ्रंट कवर विद ए प्रोक्लेमेशन दैट द न्यूली मिंटेड लीडर ऑफ अपोजिशन हैज क्राफ्टेड अ न्यू चैप्टर now till december last after the congress lost rajasthan and madhya pradesh or despite the two yatras that lifted the congress wala spirits the dynast reluctant inconsistent neta not so heavyweight tags were not coming off suddenly one speech in parliament and five outings in five days have triggered at least a rethink hashtag rahul gandhi has been consistently trending across social media platforms now the bjp hasn't stopped scoffing at his engagements or the statements well there is no reason why it should it's a opposition party i'm not interested in answering questions that are designed to divert the issue nahi 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 sir please sir i have made my statement thank you very much but the point to be noted at is that in his white t-shirt and salt and pepper stubble he has been setting the agenda every engagement and outing is choreographed to present him as a neta who is championing the idea of india and as congressmen say uh, the idea of india envisioned by our founding father now to push a point let's analyze what has changed on 1st july he delivered his dramatic speech in lok sabha Yes he didn't stick to the dotted lines said by the president's address yes he showed photos of gods yes the leaked video showed he was egging opposition members to enter the well of the house now who will judge this the parliament or public but he dared the prime minister and the bjp like he had never done before now till a few years ago a speech in parliament baiting narendra modi was hard work enough for him to leave for a break domestic or some foreign land now home ministry data says that between 2015 and 2019 he spent 247 days on foreign trips at the rate of 62 odd each year and 5 every month in 2019 the congress lost the lok sabha polls under him he was a president in july he resigned from the party president's post later that year he was the congress's face in jharkhand polls but he disappeared midway he went out of the country when anti caa protests were rocking the country he had a chance to grab the moment he went to south korea instead next he was missing for the first week of parliament's winter session same year congress was ready to launch an agitation against the government the state of the economy well guess where was rahul gandhi he was abroad In 2018 after Karnataka polls he was abroad and portfolio allocation was delayed but what has happened this time this time he seems to be doing things differently at least for now he hasn't left for a foreign visit let's track his last 5 days after the parliament session ended on July 3 on monday july 8 he was off from his home early and touched down in assam I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Now that's how Rahul Gandhi was greeted at a relief camp in Furathal in Kachar district of Assam, where displaced people from Manipur are living. Next, he entered Manipur, his third visit since strife hit the state. He drove. He drove to Jiribam in Manipur on his first visit to the strife-torn state after becoming leader of opposition. from jiribam to more relief camps in churachandrapur and then in bishnupur bjp and congress supporters had a field day now they were comparing rahul gandhi in manipur with strife victims and prime minister narendra modi in russia with vladimir putin the message he is trying to send prime minister has stayed away from manipur while he has waded in thrice to meet the victims uh, it's the third time i've come here since the problem started and it has been a tremendous tragedy 
frankly, I was expecting some improvement in the situation, but I was quite disappointed to see that the situation is still nowhere near what it should be. Prior to that, on July 4, he was seen with street vendors and daily wage labourers in the GTB Nagar area in Delhi. That day, the BJP and Congress jostled for mileage over Rahul Gandhi among commoners and Prime Minister Modi with T20 winning Indian cricket team. On July 5th, Rahul Gandhi met victims of Hathras stampede. Now, the BJP had won the Hathras seat just a month ago. The Samajwadi party was runners-up. In fact, the adjoining seats, Aligarh, Mathura and Agra, all were won by the BJP and only Mathura, in Mathura, the Congress had a candidate. The Samajwadi party has huge stakes in UP. But its boss, Akhilesh Yadav, in fact skipped a chance to consolidate the UPK Ladke template with Rahul Gandhi in Hathras. Same day, on July 5th, he visited the Loco Pilots crew lobby at the New Delhi Railway Station. There was a bit of political cunning behind the move. After a slew of train accidents, Loco drivers and rail staff have been spending uncomfortable time. They have been facing inquiries. The timing of his visit is crucial. Also because railway has 12 lakh employees. July 6th, he was in the lion's den in Gujarat, challenging Narendra Modi and the BJP from Ahmedabad, egging Congress workers to do a Ayodhya in Gujarat. Narendra Modi and BJP ko Gujarat mein jaise humne Ayodhya mein haraya hai, waise hi hum Gujarat mein inko harane ja rahe hain. Later, he met victims of Rajkot gaming zone tragedy. In politics, it's said a week is a long time. It's a cliche that sometimes comes true. But many a time, it's too short a time to arrive at conclusions. One, it'll be unfair to compare Prime Minister Narendra Modi's engagements with that of Rahul Gandhi. He is the Prime Minister uh, and Rahul Gandhi is the leader of opposition. He has to play a game of catch-up. So, Rahul Gandhi in the last one week has displayed a certain degree of political consistency. A streak he wasn't known for. Now, will this one last? That's what congressmen and his political opponents must be wondering. Well, if he has to take on a political juggernaut that doesn't rest, or a Narendra Modi, a Neta, who is at it 24-7, he needs to be consistently very consistent. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.